In 2002, we started the development of a numerical damage model for composites. The main issue at the time was that all models in the literature for in-plane failure were heavily mesh dependent. This was not the case for the lamination, where the community had realized that cohesive elements provided a suitable solution for mesh regularization. For other materials, Bajant and co-workers had proposed a regularized crackband model. Due to this, we developed the first regularized smeared crack model for laminated composite plies. This was a challenge, not only from the formulation and implementation points of view, but also because the model would require material properties, namely ply-level translaminar fracture toughnesses, which nobody had measured previously. So we had to develop tests for this as well. The stability of smeared crack models made this model particularly well suited for structural design, and this model has now become available in the leading finite element software package, LS Dyna. The price to pay for the good stability of smeared crack models is accuracy when modeling interacting cracks or kinking cracks. This was an issue with which we came across, for instance, when modeling certain open hole tension specimens, where the layup is such that failure is governed by the interaction between matrix cracks and delamination. To address this, we started by analyzing the phantom node method, its merits and its limitations in modeling kinking cracks. What started as an adaptation to the phantom node method became in the end a very different numerical method, in a way creating the concept of floating degrees of freedom to achieve an exact local mesh refinement with the same type of numerical architecture as the phantom node method. This floating node method outperforms existing methods in simulating kinking cracks. Looking at a different scale, we have also developed a molecular dynamics finite element model for simulating large graphene-based structures from the underlying force fields. Working directly from the force fields provides accuracy, while the implementation in a finite element environment ensures applicability to large nanostructures and compatibility with continuum elements. Given the multi-physics applications of graphene, and that the formulation from the underlying force fields lends itself naturally for multi-physics simulations, our model represents electromechanical effects very efficiently.